What is going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be looking at the resume that landed me a data analyst job at a Fortune 500 company. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below. Let's get into it. So we're going to be looking at my resume, but I also have a few other documents that I thought were really important because I also sent other documents, not just my resume to this company. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see what else I sent them because a lot of people just send the resume. I kind of wanted to set myself apart and send a little extra. And so I'll show you what that is. There is some code associated with that and I'm going to leave the code in the description where you can go and see that and download it and use it yourself if that's something you're interested in. So let's start out with looking at my resume. I'm just going to start from top to bottom and we'll just walk through the entire thing. Looking at it now where I am a year later, it is kind of a little bit embarrassing. I think I could have done a lot better job, but let's just look at the top. So I used a template for this that, that I just found online. And so it kind of told me I needed a summary. I, I actually don't think this summary is super useful. And in fact, if I could go back, I might change it or put something else up there. But you know, I basically just talked about how I'm a professional. You know, I want to showcase my abilities in a, in a way that I can help them utilize their data. So I don't really think it was necessary. Uh, I think the part that they jumped to right away was probably this qualifications. I do not have many qualifications, so I really just put down the skills that I knew I was good at. So I talked about how I was experienced in Excel, SQL, SPSS, and project planning. And then I had a strong understanding, which basically means, you know, I, I know about it. Uh, I'm probably not the best at it, but I know about it. And I talked about how I knew Python, Access, Data Visualization, and Agile Methodology. If you don't know what Agile Methodology is, that's really just a way that large companies uh, block out their work. And so there's a popular one, it's called Kanban. Uh, or Kanban if you've ever heard of that and then another one is called Scrum. So I thought that was a good thing to put on my resume because I knew that the company I was applying for used Agile methodology because I talked to my recruiter and they, they mentioned that and I said oh, okay I know what that is so I ended up putting that on my resume. These other things have absolutely no relevance to basically anything but they basically say you know I'm good with data and decision making and I'm experienced at creating measure outcomes. This piece actually is, is semi-important because it does relate to uh, a little bit of the work that I do, but again, not super important. My education is lackluster. I wouldn't say that I have the best degree or from the best college, so I just kind of put it as a generic bachelor's of science, but I do have a degree in recreational therapy. For all my recreational therapists out there, this one's for you. Let's go down to my work experience. I think my work experience is also a really big part in this. So this is the last company that I worked for. And in this company, I was doing a ton of reports and working with clients to get their data in. And so I think the work experience is a really big part. I pitched to some of our clients that we had some other software that they might be interested in and they ended up buying it. So just creating additional revenue. Uh, so all these things are things that I actually did in my job. And I tried to highlight the big things, like the things that were action items. You know, I created policies, I brought in revenue, I worked with programming. So I think all those things, you know, look good, they sound good, it makes me seem like I know what I'm doing. If you watch my video on how I became a data analyst, this is the very first job I got as a data analyst. They gave me a complete shot in the dark. They took a huge risk on me. And so this is just kind of saying, you know, here's what I did, here's long, how long I worked here. I brought in extra revenue, that kind of thing. These are the things that I thought that you know a large company would like to see. This one I'm actually really proud of. Me and my friends started a granola company back in college and it ended up doing really well. And so I actually put that on my resume. And although it does not relate to data analytics at all, I thought it was a huge conversation piece and it ended up being a really big thing that we talked about in my actual in-person interview. And they were just really interested in it and wanted to know all about it and how it started and all these things. And so I got to talk about something that I love and something that I thought was really interesting and something that not a lot of people probably have on their resume, uh, being the CEO of a company or a co-founder or something like that. And so you can read that if you'd like to read that. And then these are my achievements. Uh, I don't think I would keep these on there today because I don't think they have any relevance to what I do anymore. But back then I didn't have much to put on here and it was part of the template so I filled it out and I put anything that I really had. So that is my resume but I actually want to show you some other documents that I used because this was not the only thing that I actually sent to the company that I work for today. So I sent this along with my resume because it says I know SQL but they don't know how much SQL or to what level. And so I decided to actually send this along with it and I think it demonstrates a few things. Uh, 
First off, it demonstrates a lot of the things that I know about SQL. So I actually explicitly say, you know, this demonstrates truncating, inserting joins, partitions, and updating. I think it really shows that I know my stuff. I added another one down here, which demonstrates case statements, calculations, percentages, and conversions. I think these two scripts were really well written. And so I wanted to show them that I knew what I was doing and that I was really good at SQL. And if you want to add something like this to your resume, I'm actually going to include the code in the description on my GitHub. All you have to do is click on my GitHub, you can go to my page, and you can look at the code. If this is something you know how to do and you know how to do these queries, I really recommend sending something like this with your resume because a lot of people are going to say, I know how to use SQL. But you are actually showing them, this is what I know in SQL and this is the level of knowledge that I have. And I think that really sets you above the other people who are just sending their resume. Now the next thing that I sent was testimonials, and these are from previous bosses or even current bosses, and I really think it gave a really glowing recommendation of who I am as an employee. And when you're applying for a job and sending in that information, you need to brag on yourself. You need to make yourself look as good as you possibly can, and I think this made me look really good. And so all of these recommendations were really glowing and really shed a good light on who I am as a person and as an employee, and I think people like to see that. And so the last thing I sent was this document right here, which is emails from clients. I wanted to show that I was good working with clients and the job that I actually have now, I work with clients a lot. And so I really just cherry picked ones that had good things to say about me. You know, Alex is wonderful. And down here they said, you know, he's responding so quickly and thanks for all your help. And then down here it just says, I really appreciate all your help. Thanks for dealing with my daily questions. I think it just shows that I'm good at communicating and I'm good at talking with clients. And I think that's a skill set that they are looking for. So there you have it. That's my resume with a few extra documents. I sent this to my recruiter who handed it off to the hiring manager. And when I went for my in-person interview, they actually talked about how impressed they were with a few of my documents. So they really liked my SQL queries and they talked about it and asked how I use them in a business setting. And they asked me a lot about my resume and my skills. I will be creating another video about data analyst interview questions. In my interview, they actually asked me some technical questions as well as database questions. And so these are things that I thought would be really interesting for you guys to hear before you go in for that big interview. You know, be prepared about some of the questions that they might ask you, especially at these big companies. They like to vet a little bit harder than the smaller companies. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.